we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday, yeah. There's Soul Shines. It's Michelle here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of early, but um, I want to try to get this out early enough in the day. You can watch it on Thursday, or at least Thursday here in the U.S. Um, yeah, things we're making Thursday, guys. This is the last January episode. Next week, I consider a transition episode because it's the first, and so we're like finishing up January, starting February. Pretty awesome. Um, the theme for January has been slippers, and I'm going to put it up here. Tutorial, guys. I made a tutorial. It came out on Tutorial Tuesday, so go ahead and go check it out. Um, it's how I make my slippers. So I have one. I made it in the video. I have not finished it, but it's the basic part of the pattern. This actually fits my foot. It seems so tiny, especially when you compare it to... Um, my daughter's slipper. <laughs> Her foot literally is that much longer than mine. It's not just because it's on here. I need to make the other one. And then I'm going to put a border around here. I haven't decided still if I'm going to do white or um, green for the border. And then I have little white pom-poms I'm going to put on here to make Tinkerbell. I have not gotten past this. Um, my ends, did I mention, they're not woven in yet. Um, I'm really excited about them, but I've also had other things I've been doing, including, well, the tutorial. I did all the recording on Monday, so I made this, this on Monday, um, which took longer than it would have because of making a tutorial, because I probably could have gotten both of them done in the length of the time it got me to do one with recording. I lost my train of thought. My son's in using my laptop, so I'm using my phone. He's got a call that he does in the morning, so on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Anyway, Tuesday, I spent the whole day editing video, the tutorial. So that is where all my time went. And I did finish these. Pull my mat. I had to borrow them from my daughter. I need to borrow those so I can show people. Okay, are you ready? Uh, they are so stinking adorable. Oh, can make a little puppet. I think it's funny that the eyes ended up like this one looks up higher and whatever, but it's cute. They're adorable. According to, um, so my daughter, both of my girls absolutely love them. Um, my older daughter, these are for my 16 year old, my 20 year old daughter's boyfriend thinks they're creepy. Cheyenne's really excited that she's going to get a pair of eyeball slippers to wear at his house. <laughs> anyway, um, yep, they are done. They use my basic pattern tutorial. And then I borrowed, um, or I used the eyeball portion from a pattern. I will link the pattern down below. Um, I'll also put a link to the tutorial down below. And not just the eye card so it's a little easier to find if you need it um the other really cool thing about life is that you can take things and make them your own so i understand the concept here make a ball make a round thing you put a thing on it if you want it make an eye lid like that um I have some ideas of how to make it even better idea Eyelid. I would love to actually put eyelashes on it. If I could just get, you know, like maybe this much. Maybe this much so I have enough for both of them. Anyway, if I could get probably like a yard of black eyelash yarn without getting all the rest because I don't like eyelash yarn. But that could be really cute, don't you think? Like little eyelashes at the top of the eyelid. Oh, yeah, I'd probably need about a yard. Um... So I might do that when I make my daughters. I know that January is almost over. I'm really hoping to actually finish these this week. So I can say that I made two pairs of slippers in January. But the rest of the slippers for the other kids, which is three pairs. So I don't think my 19-year-old wants slippers. 
but I will ask him. The younger kids, they all want them because um, at their dad's, their dad has hardwood floors, and so they want slippers there. We have carpet. I don't know if I'm... I guess I can ask them if they want me to try to put something on the bottom to make them not slippery, but they're 14, 16, and turning 18 on Monday. They are old enough that they probably aren't going to slip around, and they haven't gotten to the part where they're old enough that they will slip around. Because, <laughs> you know, it gets sometimes as we age, it can get a little harder to walk around and stuff, but Anyway, I think that's it for today. Uh, as soon as my son's off the thing, I'm going to edit this. Is there anything else I wanted to say? I hope you join us next month. Um, oh, I'm going to put all the stuff down in the description. Uh, I think they are changing one of the themes. Because there's a... I think it's international granny square thing happening a month like one of those month long holiday things happening and so they're talking about rearranging things to accommodate for that so that they put the theme in the same month as that but I don't know if that's actually going to happen it's just something they're discussing um I don't know if they've made an official decision um but February is blankets, so come on and join us for blankets. You know, blankets don't have to be hard. You could do granny square even though it's not granny square month. Uh, you could do corner to corner is really fast. It doesn't eat too much yarn compared to some of the other stitches. Um, you can also do, I like the blanket stitch, not the blanket stitch. Um, I like the Suzette stitch better than the blanket stitch, um, which isn't too too bad, but it does have some single crochets in it. You could do a, my brain is kind of going, Ooh. there's corner to corner that's kind of like leaves squares, so it's like a fillet kind of thing. That would be an interest, that'd be a weird blanket, more of a wrap, but anyway, you could do baby blankets. You could start, um, I know that the Boggy Creek collection thing is over. I didn't get to make anything because I found out about it so late when I already had so many Christmas projects going. But um, my hope is to get a blanket made for that, at least one, and I'll make it in February. And then I can give it, send it off um, when they open up the collections again next fall. I hope you guys join us. There's a hashtags below. Follow the hashtags. I also search things we're making Thursday. Because I swear, I follow the hashtags and I'm not even, I'm finding one or two people. I know Crafting Kitty and hers will come up and Shannon, another yarn. And then I found Jess. She's the one that makes it, wrote the song. Or she and her husband, I don't know who actually wrote it. But they're the ones that did the song. And... I might come up with one or two, but there's a lot more people playing than that. Also, the Facebook group. You can go in. Um, there's a lot of pictures of slippers in the Facebook group right now. So you can go in and join there and participate. I haven't tried looking for the hashtag on Instagram, and I don't know if I tagged my slippers, these ones, with the hashtag on Instagram. I'm going to go check that and then update it if there's a need. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I even Facebook. I don't know. I'll go update it. I'll make sure I have that on my Facebook feed too and then click on it and see what comes up. Anyway, after this rambly rambles, see it's too early in the morning. I can't even tell what I'm saying anymore. I'm like, what did I say? And I just closed my eyes. I have a ring light on right now. I think you can kind of see the halo. <laughs> the wall oh my gosh that's so funny <laughs> but uh i have the ring light on i close my eyes and i'm like all i see is a ring the <laughs> anyway remember to let your light shine through your creations whatever they be and i will see you guys next time bye